from beautiful Shelton, Washington. The next stop in my adventure of a traveling cook. What's up everybody? I'm very bummed out. When I was in Kent, I recorded a couple videos. We had a Gem Pops Missy Rocks and a Nerd Merch Shop box. They were both really good. Um, unfortunately, you won't get to see the videos because I didn't bring my camera with me. So I was using the webcam on my laptop and I didn't change the audio recording settings. So there was no audio. And I tried doing a dub over and after about five minutes, I'm like, this is stupid. So, Cause I had no idea what I was talking about. I'm sure I was just rambling on about stuff cause that's what I do. But we did pretty good. The Nerd Merch Shop, it was a $40 box and we got $89 in value out of that thing. Our big hit was the Chase Berlin from La Casa del Papel or something like that. I don't know. And then our Gem Pops box, that was a $60 box and we got like $105 in value out of that. So pretty good. We got the original chunk from the Goonies. Those have sold. I'm selectively buying mystery boxes that have really good value and making videos again. And then I brought with me. So to catch you guys up, my last video you saw, I talked about that was going to be probably my last video. Well, I changed my mind. I'm still going to get mystery boxes. <clears throat> They're too much fun. Just way more selective than I used to be. So, but yeah. Traveling cook. I work for a company that owns a bunch of retirement homes. I travel around the Pacific Northwest and stay at retirement homes that this company owns and fill in for staff shortages. So I was in Kent, which was whatever. Um, it's a little suburb of Seattle. Lots of ethnic diversity there. With the kitchen I worked in, I was the only white dude. Um, and I was surprised there was a lot of Indian people in Kent. It has a huge Indian population. The only detriment to that was their accents, their English accents are very, very strong and I could not understand what they were saying. So it was hard to be trained on how that kitchen worked when I couldn't understand what my coworkers were saying to me. But we were there for about seven weeks and they hired a couple new people, so they didn't need me anymore. They sent me over here to Sheldon. Sheldon's beautiful. It rains every fucking day. Like, I'm not kidding. Since I've been here, I've been here for 12 days. It's rained every day. Um, but lots of evergreen trees. Um, it's at the southern end of the Puget Sound, so we have like saltwater estuaries, we have bays. I'm excited to be, I grew up in Everett, Washington, which is right on the Puget Sound. Uh, my parents had, my grandparents had a beach cabin, which ended up going to my parents. Um, so I spent summers up there, I actually lived up there when I was 19 and 20, which was really fun. But anyway, as you can tell, I'm kind of chatty. But, so yeah, I'm in Shelton now. It's nice, there's nothing super exciting about Shelton. Um, one exciting thing, when they transferred me here, my room was not ready to move into right away, so they put me up at a casino resort, which was like 10 minutes away from the retirement facility. So for 11 days, I got to live in a casino resort and that was fun. It was, it was kind of like, even though I was working, it was still, it was like being on vacation. I was living in a hotel room. I'd go down to the casino every night and play $40 worth of slots. I didn't win. I didn't come out ahead, but over the 11 days that I was there, I only lost $120, which is pretty good because to me, it was entertainment. It was fun to go down there and play the slots and look at all the weird people. People are weird. Like, they play the machines and a lot of times the screen is interactive. You can touch it to do stuff. 
but a lot of times it's, it's deactivated, so it, nothing happens if you touch the screen. But people, while their reels are spinning down, they're like tapping all over the board, they're tapping the sides of the machine, they're sprinkling their fingers on the title of the game. Like people develop these Pavlovian dog tendencies over a long course of time where they did it one time and they got lucky, so they feel that they think that they have to do that every time now. It's complete bullshit. <laughs> but people are superstitious. People, you know, Pavlovian dog. You ring the bell, you get a food. You tap your hands all over the screen that does absolutely nothing, except for that one time that it did something. It's weird. BAM! If you would like to subscribe, go ahead. I'm not out for subs at this point. I'm not putting out videos two or three times a week anymore. So it's really not that important to me. Um, I mean, it's nice to have people show that they want to see more of your videos. But yeah, if you want to subscribe, go ahead, just hit that little sub button, um, hit the thumbs up button. That does help get this video put out in front of other people that might not have seen it. And if you want to get notified when one of my very rare video drops, hit that notification bell. And please, not thumbs down, leave a comment below. If you've ever been to Shelton, if you know anybody that lives in Shelton, I'm not going to go meet them, but it's cool. So yeah, my last two videos had been that I put up here in the beginning of November. Who knows when this video is going to get edited and published. Um, they were pretty fun. A lot of people were like, dude, where have you been? I've been busy. You know, I kind of burnt out for a while on Funko stuff. And like I said, I'm going to be very selective with my mystery boxes. We got one to open right here. And we actually have another one coming in the mail. Um, I'm waiting for Epic Collectibles to drop another mystery box. I don't know what's up with them. They're slacking. One issue that I have is when you have your like PayPal thing or your smart pay or shop pay I don't know how that's gonna work with my changing addresses I might end up only being able to buy mystery boxes from IG sellers we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but yeah so this is my new Adobe it's kinda of silly because they put me up in a two-bedroom apartment basically and it's huge. This is like one of the biggest apartments I've ever lived in. I'm completely fine with a studio type apartment hotel room setup. But I mean, it's nice. I have two bedrooms, I have a huge bath, I have more closet space than I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm serious. There's the entire hallway that goes down here, which is like 15, 20 feet long. There's a closet down the whole length. And then there's a huge closet in the bedroom. Another huge closet. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not using any of that stuff. But, so, anyway, when I moved to Kent for my first job, I had a carload of stuff that I took with me. Just things that I thought that I would need. I didn't move out of my little house in Yakima completely because I wasn't sure if I was going to like the job. But, I did. And it does help that it pays insanely well. Like, I've never made this much money in my life, and, you know, to some people it's not a lot, but I have full benefits, and I'm making about $50,000 a year to be a cook, which is pretty ridiculous. Like, there's, there's executive chefs that don't make as much money as I do. It was, it was too good to pass up. Anyway, so I decided to like the job, went back to Yakima, packaged up all my stuff, moved it down into the basement for storage, and then loaded my car back up with more stuff. I did, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't want to leave there. My most valuable, cherished Funko Pops, um, you know, my guitars, clothes, obviously. It's gonna be really weird when I finally 
I don't know, either my best friend sells the house and I have to go there and move everything out, or retiring from this job and buying a house. Because I'm going to be saving, like, I have no bills. I have like $300 in bills a month. Everything else is saving. It's just, it's, I've never been in a position like this. It's really cool. It's like, it's like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders to know that I'm finally saving money for my retirement. So, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. But it's nice. The last place I was in was like an apartment. I mean, not, the last place I was in was like a hotel room. The hotel room that I was just in was like a hotel room. Very nice. But this one, I have like a little patio over here. Totally screened in with landscaping. Um, huge living room, as you can see, part of it. Nice couch. Got my TV right over here. Like I said, there's a long hallway. Two bedrooms off of it. It's cool. All right, that's enough rambling. You guys are all caught up on what's going on with my life. Things are going really well. I hope it snows here. I don't think it does very much. It does rain here a lot. So, if it gets cold this winter, it's going to snow. Because this is like, on this side of Washington, there's the Olympic Mountains. And it's kind of almost like a rainforest. Well, it is a rainforest at certain parts. It rains a lot. So... Fingers crossed, lots of snow this winter. And the best thing about it is my commute is walking 100 feet. Bad thing about that is if it does snow a lot and my coworkers can't get to work on days that I'm scheduled to be off, guess who fills in? But that's okay because with overtime, I'm gonna be making like $37 an hour. Can deal with that okay i said that we were caught up you know me rabbit trail brain does stuff let's get on to the mystery box all right so i would like to welcome all the people that have fast forwarded up to this point we are about to open up this mystery box i know that's what pretty much most of you have been waiting for i know there's a lot of loyal true fans that watched the entire thing. I don't know why. I, I mean, I wouldn't, I'd fast forward. But for whatever reason, some of you like to listen to me ramble and see what's going on, do chores. I know some people are like dusting and you can't vacuum when I'm doing this because then you wouldn't be able to hear me. So we have a $100 Gem Pops mystery box I can't remember if there is a glam shop shot of the top hits we got box number two we kind of got in a little late I hadn't made up my mind yet if I was gonna be buying these because I was at the hotel um, yeah hundred dollars plus ten dollars shipping I don't know if, what the guaranteed value is. Usually it's close to the purchase price. One to four pops. This box is kind of light. It is, it, I'm thinking it has two pops in it. It feels kind of solid, which could mean a stack. You hear that? I mean, it. it it thumps pretty good. Again, I don't know what the big hits are. The next box we got coming is another Gem Pops mystery box. Same price point. It's his last box of 2021. It's supposed to have shipped out today. Probably be here in four or five days. So let's get in. Wish me luck. M Tech Knives. Whoosh. One of the funny things is, is I forgot to bring my knife with me 
to Kent the first time, so I had to open up my two boxes with a butter knife. Far inferior to the M-Tech knife, which some of you might remember. I cut the hell out of my thumb. One of the first times I used it, because it was much sharper than my old knife. And I wasn't paying attention, and it cut towards me. You shouldn't cut towards yourself when you're not paying attention. All right. What do we got? We actually have four pops. So that's a little disappointing. That means the value is going to be spread around. There is no hard stack. So I was wrong. It happens once in a while. So we have two non-protected, two protected. So let's just see what we got. All right, first one, not protected, the Black Panther Gold Metallic. Now, at one point, right after this individual passed away, oh, that's right, he puts the prices on the side. I hate that. These were jacked up from grave robbers, but <clears throat> very cool pop. My collection now is extremely small. Um, I'm down to like 70 pops, which is <laughs> still kind of a lot, but compared to the uh, 370 that we used to have. <clears throat> yeah, so Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, Black Panther. We will check out the value and see if it changed from when he posted it. Gold Chrome, estimated value $12. So that has gone down $4 in the last couple weeks. Ouch. Next pop is Chala. Is there a theme going on here? So another Black Panther pop. Um, oh yeah, condition wise, this is really good condition. There's a tiny little lift up right there well um, take the little price tag off there because I don't want to know I want to look it up it's part of the fun for me when did this one come out this an older pop it's 2018 but chala chala 18 what are the two variants? Oh, white robe. Hello. All right, so that puts our box total right now at 30. And then let's get on to the protected ones. I don't know which one's the hit. They seem to be in different whatever. All right, we'll just go with the first one I grab. Jetfire Transformers Funko Shop exclusive. Get this price thing off of here. All right, so this is Funko Shop exclusive. Um, Knopf brand pop protector. I'm sure this was, so this was 2020. My brother, my little brother was into Transformers when we were kids more than I was. I was kind of a little bit at the end of the age back in the 80s or 70s whenever they were on TV all the time. 80s probably, I don't know. Jetfire. Condition looks great. All right. Let's find out how much Jetfire is worth. Apparently, okay, well, I could have sworn this says 2020. It does, but according to the database on Pop Price Guide, it says that it came out in January 2021. Um, 
So the price on this thing is good because it's been around for a while. The price is established. Um, current value is $55. So that's probably the hit of the box, I'm guessing. I don't know. I left my calculator at 30, and then we have 55. We're at 85. So if the next pop is worth $15, then we hit the guaranteed value. I think it's probably going to be more because our non pop protected ones were up there. So, see how we did. Boom. All right, so we actually had this pop at 120. We did win the lottery for this event. And, uh,. I think that's the actual con sticker. I don't know. I can't remember. But Nightwing from DC. Part of the Batman family. Cool pop. Okay, so all of these are for sale. I will be posting these on Instagram. Um, they will be PPG plus free shipping. So I, I did. I brought all my boxes, my tape, my bubble wrap, my printer, my scale. So I'm still able to sell these. Oh, and there's like a mail and more place a mile away from here. So I didn't have a place to go ship these. So Nightwing, I'm pretty positive this is more than about fifteen dollars. So I think we did just fine on this box. That's sweet. This is actually yeah. This is the. NYCC sticker. It's not the fall convention one. Um, Forty-four dollars. So that means that a total box value from a hundred-dollar box was one hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Not one of the big hit boxes, sadly. No grails. But anytime you go over value, that's a win. You can't go wrong. Good times. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in a while. I'm going to drink some beer. and There's an Antiques Roadshow Marathon on right now on the History Channel. So after I get done playing a game of League, I'm going to be cozying up on the couch, eating some food. I made a pork roast for the residence day. It turned out really good. So I'm going to mow down on that. Oh, I need to find my stickers. Hold on. Mmm.